Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to our gaming review of the Lenovo Y740 15 inch. Now this is a very interesting laptop from Lenovo because they've changed the design aesthetic of the Legion line, which of course stands for uh, the, the Y740. And I've got to say, I like the new look. I like the new look because you've got just some really nice aesthetics with this laptop. First off is the fact that the Legion logo lights up. So the Y in the Legion logo lights up when you're using it. Again, giving you some of that uh, gaming essentials without actually overdoing it. That's one of the things I like about it. It's not too much here. Um, but you also have, of course, a new design, which, you know, which that 180 degree hinge. So when you actually open up your laptop, you can lay it flat all the way through. Uh, if you want to do that, that's fine. But it just shows some of the design aesthetics with it, plus the angles and the back lip. Everything looks really cool. And in terms of weight, this thing is actually pretty light now you can see the lighting around so you've got that blue lighting you've got um, rgb lighting around this laptop uh, which is really nice and this is powered by the corsair iq so you can go ahead and um, you know, customize your lighting whichever way you want and um, uh, what i've noticed with this laptop is you find a couple of pieces of software uh in there from uh there's, there's one from um Corsair for the keyboard, which is nice. There's also the uh, Advantage from uh, Lenovo, which showcases everything in the system. So it shows you so your specs. And speaking of specs, we're looking at a eighth generation um, Core i7, 8750H. We've got 16 gigs of RAM in here. We've got a Samsung uh, SSD 256 uh, with one terabyte extra storage. So you've got enough storage and space for all your games here. Display is a 1080p display. It's nice, it's solid, gives you some really nice vibrant look. Though I'm not a fan of the bottom lip and the bottom uh, facing camera. The company should please just stop doing that. To me, that's just something I wouldn't like to see, but the display is really nice um, in, in that respect. Now, with that software, as I mentioned, you can go ahead and customize a bunch of things. Uh, Wi-Fi security, you can do rapid charge, which is great, so you can actually have a faster charger in your laptop, especially after a gaming session, you want to use it. And of course, you've got a GTX uh, 27, uh, 2070 Max Q is an RTX card to give you RTX graphics in there. And we're going to check out some of the gameplay from uh, two different, of course, um, uh, games, namely uh, Tomb Raider and uh, Battlefield 5, especially just with RTX ratings in here. Now, the keyboard is nice, good travel, although I wish it was wider and took most of the space here. The edges, uh, the keyboard is more narrow centered. Uh, the trackpad is good and responsive, though, but for gaming, of course, you're going to be using your own uh, mouse. Now, when it comes to ports, right, on your left hand, I'm sorry, on your right hand side, you do have a USB port, and then the left, a USB Type C, as well as a headphone jack. Now, when we flip around to the back of the device, right there, you can see a plethora of ports here. And this is what I actually like about the system is that the ports at the back, it doesn't interfere with your gaming if you've got your hands by the side or anything like that. So you get your nice gaming session, you've got your ethernet port, you've got a USB HDMI, um, you've got a display port here, um, you've also got um, your power plug, the standard Lenovo power plug. Again, I'm making for some very easy connectivity, all plugged in the back, as it should be with the computer. I do like the side ports with the USB 3.0 and of course Thunderbolt on the other side um, on this. So that's what you have with the system. It's priced at like $15.49. Uh, uh, so basically this is, uh, uh, so $15.99. So this is a, about a $600 laptop here. Um, but what do you get with that graphic setting? So when we take a look at games like uh, um, Tomb Raider, uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, lovely looking game. Of course, it's RTX capable here. Uh, when you're running the game, um, just standard mode, uh, full specs, ultra and everything, um, 1080p, of course, is the display resolution. You're, you can, you can, you can hit, you know, 
70 to 80 frames per second uh, on this thing and it runs butter smooth really nice really solid um, and I like that I like that with it now when we move over to RTX graphics with this it drops down to about 63 frames per second sometimes it drops a little bit lower than 60 but again still ran really smooth now you can see some of the details with the RTX graphics maybe not as much as I would like to see but enough to say okay you know this is not bad this is cool now moving over to battlefield 5 battlefield 5 in terms of just um uh standard graphics on the uh on the system here you're looking at about 73 74 frames per second everything in the ultra maxed out um you know gameplay is frantic i died a lot i haven't played battlefield in a while so um this was this was a little bit of putting just dying quite constantly but you can clearly see it looks good, uh, especially from the captures from the system. It looks really sharp, really vibrant. Looks good there. Uh, again, 73 frames per second, which is nice. Now, when we move over to RTX graphics, it drops down to about 64 all the way. Actually, goes up to about 73. That's the range you're getting there. Again, this system does not. You can all, you only you will do all that, of course, plugged in. Uh, battery power basically it you know there's a CPU limiter so it basically downclocks the system uh, so that you don't actually push it that much um, but that being said though I have to say though gaming with this thing was really solid it handled really well and I think this is a solid laptop at its price uh, for something with the RTX graphics that does a really good job now when it comes to heating though uh you can see the temperatures we got from the system uh as from the vents you're pushing about 105 degrees and it does blow loud off those vents so you're gonna hear where it's the bottom vent or the side the the back vents again because of the design here uh while on the keyboard while gaming it's about in the 90s or so it's a little cooler around there so i do like that um that you know yes it does blow out a lot of air around but on the system itself it feels much cooler to actually use and handle now i have talked a lot and you guys have heard what i have to say i do like this laptop but i'm going to just show you some gaming performance of it so you just get an idea of what it actually looks like while actually gaming and also some capture from it and um again if you have any questions any comments about lenovo y740 15 inch let us know I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a laptop with uh, RTX graphics, a 2070 Max-Q, and a solid performer all around. Um, the one thing I would say is my caveat is that uh, there is some bloatware, especially with McAfee software that keeps popping up. That's something I didn't like, especially just considering the fact that Windows has built-in um, uh, antivirus. This is something that I don't like. Otherwise, you can still uninstall it. And again, this is Windows. You can do whatever you want to with the system. But leave your thoughts down below. Enjoy some gameplay and have a good day. Someone must be 
around. Hello? Jonah? Miguel? Can you hear me? Where are you? I didn't know the storm would hit so hard. This is all my fault. I should have listened to Jonah, thought it through. I never should have taken that dagger. I hope no one else was hurt. No other village destroyed. Part of the plane landed here. My gear is in that cargo. I'll need to cut it down. 